Okay, so I'm doing another update on my electrolysis. At this point, I probably had like eight hours of electrolysis on my face. And the right side is very good. The left side is like still kind of an issue. And like some of the hairs keep trying to grow back and grow, which is so freaking annoying. Um, I used to get laser hair removal and I was doing that for a few years. And then the doctor that was doing that for me was like, have you ever like been worked up for PCOS? And I was like, no. So I decided to do it and while I do have like slightly elevated prolactin, like all my hormones were normal and I do have cysts on my ovaries, but they're not enough to meet the criteria for PCOS, but you can also still have PCOS even if you don't have the cysts on your ovaries. So whatever, I'm just saying that I have P PCOS and it's actually super common and a lot of women have the same thing and a lot of women have a lot of unwanted facial hair. And I've like turned my sister on to it and so she's doing it and she's seeing good results. And then I have another friend who has the same issue and she's going and she likes it as well. So I do highly recommend it. It freaking hurts, it hurts, but it really works. Um, I feel like where the skin is thicker, it's less painful, but like where the skin is thinner, it's a lot more painful. So like, I think my neck is like more painful than any other place. Anyway, I like put some, there's like cotton on me. I put some uh, like uh, Neosporin, like that wash that they make to clean like a wound that has like lidocaine in it. I put that on my face after, so that really helps with the pain. And I'm not as red right now as I'm probably gonna get soon, but this is what it looks like now. And I also had her do it on my stomach because I have hair on my stomach that I hate and it freaking hurts. It really freaking hurts, but I'm gonna keep doing it until I'm hair free. And I was thinking about doing it on my legs too, but like that's gonna take a long time and I'm sure it's gonna be super painful, but I think it's better than going for like for um, laser hair removal where you have to like keep going over and over again. And while it does reduce the hair, it's really not permanent. It's like semi-permanent, but maybe it might work better for like hair that's not like hormonally influenced, like hair on your face or on your like nipples, like around your nipples and stuff like that. Um, so it really freaking hurts, but it works. And if you can find somebody who can do it, I recommend it. You don't have to have hair on your face if you don't like it. And if you don't care, you can have hair on your face and it's normal. It doesn't make you weird. Like some women are just hairy and that's just the way that we are.